Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I am here today to give you a review of two lights from Generay that have quickly become an indispensable part of my workflow for a couple of different reasons. I have been looking for a light for some time to help me with my outdoor segments. And so, as many of you know, during the uh, the nicer months of the year, um, for obvious reasons here in Canada, I film outdoors, not so much in the winter. But uh, during those times, of course, unlike a studio type setting, you don't have the ability to completely control the ambient light. So a lot of what I need to do with lights is to try to balance and compensate for the ambient light that I'm dealing with. And so what I need is both a light that can put out a tremendous amount a quantity of light, but also to focus that light in such a way to where it can, um, you know, fill enough to uh, overcome, you know, kind of the ambient lighting conditions. But I also needed to run off batteries because I'm working outdoors. And so I've tried a number of different lights looking for that solution. And this has been my best that I found so far for uh, the simple reason that it runs off batteries. It is a very powerful light, but then more importantly, between the combination of built-in barn doors and then a frontal lens with the ability to focus down that beam like a spotlight, um, it's become very, very useful. Now, in some applications, it might be a little bit too harsh of light. I've tried shooting it in the indoor setting, like in this kind of set, and it was, you know, it was kind of a little intense for that kind of setting. And But for my outdoor segments, it has been perfect. We're going to go hands-on and take a look at why uh, this light is intriguing and to give you a look at what's actually there. Let's jump in. So the first thing to note is that this is a modular light. So you'll see that there are areas here where you can either lock or unlock sections. And what this does is right now I have got the configuration here to allow for battery use since I often use this outdoors. Um, but you have the option to configure it for uh, for the AC power as well. And on the note of the AC power, it is a flexible in that you can run it either on 100 or 240 um, alternating current. And so it means you can use it in different zones safely around the world on AC power. Now, uh, as I noted, I've got it here with the battery setup component here. And so what we've got is we've got two uh, battery packs in here. These are uh, like Sony style MP7 F750 batteries, so 44 mAh a piece. With this battery configuration, which is what it comes with, uh, you can get running it on 100% power, you get about an hour and 20 minutes, and uh, three hours and 45 minutes if you take it down to 50% power. And so enough certainly to uh, get some usefulness out of that. And of course, these batteries are commonplace, they're relatively inexpensive, and so it's easy to swap them out if so desired. I think my only contention about this, the modular configuration, is that when you have it configured as I do, it doesn't fit naturally into the uh, the actual um, storage case, and so you actually need to assemble it in the other configuration, so a minor complaint there. Now, in the rest of this assembly, it um, has, uh, you can see cooling slots here and I'll turn it on and it does run very cool. So you can, you don't have to worry about putting it in a tight space or putting it near your talent. Um, but the one thing I will note, I'll lean close for just a second. It doesn't run silently. You can hear a little bit of fan noise. It's like a light hissing as you could probably hear the mic pick up there. And so, um, you know, it, it's not enough if you're recording uh, your audio separately. I haven't had any issues with it, but it's just something to be aware of that it isn't completely silent in operation. Now, the magic here for me is really the fact of being able to shape this light. The light output here, it's a, it's a 50 watt light, and so it puts out an equivalent of uh, in tungsten of around 200 watts. But where the magic happens is in the ability to shape that light and thus intensify it. So first of all, it has built-in barn doors here. And so the barn doors obviously allow you to shape that light and, um, you know, and to narrow down the focus beam on that alone. But the real magic is the fact that this is a frontal lens here and you have the ability to really focus that down into a very tight beam, as you can see here. So you can go from a spread of as wide as 55 degrees and take it down as tight as 25 degrees. And when you focus down that light is what actually makes it powerful enough to deal with like daylight conditions. And it is the first you know, portable light like this I've been able to use for my outdoor videos and uh, to accomplish that. And so I'm a big fan of that configuration. It also is, as you can see, it's, it's fairly compact here, particularly, of course, in the AC configuration, which removes this battery section from the modular design. But even so, it is nice and compact. You've got a couple of mounting options. 
Right now, I've got it mounted on the ball head that comes with it. That can just screw on to the top of a light stand. You can choose your configuration uh, depending upon, you know, the adapter here as to the size of the top of your light stand. And so that just threads onto the top of the light stand and so you can tighten that down and away you go. The other option though that I am also impressed by is that you can also go right onto the top of a tripod. You'll notice that this bottom plate is actually Arca Swiss compatible and so you can just throw it on the top of any tripod. Really very useful there as well. Now at the back here, you've got your control for both the power, and so it you can dim it um, anywhere at you know at one degree changes anywhere one percent I should say changes all the way from one hundred percent down to ten percent at the bottom end. Now you can also if you click this, you can also change the temperature um, Kelvin value from fifty six hundred to thirty two hundred, and you can select anything in between. Now, if you're just shooting stills, uh, it's fine to use anything in between. I will note, however, that if you choose a value other than 3200 or 5600, you will catch some flicker um, actually on camera. And as you can see in this footage, I shot this before I was aware of this, and I think I set a value of around 4000 uh, Kelvin. I was trying to get a slightly warmer look. And a byproduct of that is I ended, ended up with some flickering on my face, which was distracting. And so it's flicker free if you shoot it either at 3200 on the warm end or if you uh, take it up to 5600 on the cooler end. You do have other options, however, for controlling the warmth of the light because of the modular design. There is a slot here where you can, uh, you can drop in a, um, a gel type filter um, and so you can either diffuse it or you can change the color temperature for some creative effects when it comes to that. The bar barn door assembly is removable, and so if you don't want there, you can remove that also. And it does have a color fidelity, a CRI rating of 95, and a TLCI rating of 96. And so you've got a nicely accurate rendition of color there. Finally, the weight of the whole assembly with the batteries attached, your weight comes in at right around 3 pounds or 1.38 kilograms. And the overall dimension is that as it's configured here with the, the battery module attached, it's 11 inches or 28 centimeters in length. If you remove the module for the batteries, the, the length drops to 8.25 inches or 21 centimeters. And so as you can see, a lot of uh, good stuff going on there. Um, on top of that, it also comes in a nice nylon padded case with uh, custom mold fittings inside, foam uh, settings inside to fit everything in. Um, included in there with the battery kit is a dual charger, allow you to charge two batteries um, at once. Um, obviously AC adapter, some other components for that. There are other uh, different lengths of AC cord that are included. There's a zip portion here at the front with a mesh. Uh, my only really complaint here is that you have to have it in the with the battery module disassembled to fit in here as it is. Now, of course, you could always you know tweak this to your own design, cut out and create more space, which is probably what I'm going to do, and so I can just lay it in there fully assembled because that's going to be much more convenient for my application. As far as the price goes here, you've got a few options. Uh, first of all, if you don't need the battery portion but you're interested in the light, um, you can get the no battery right now as of today for $279 at B&H Photo. The battery kit assembly uh, included runs at $349. If you need a multi-light solution, they sell it in a three-light kit with the battery assembly for $900, a little bit less if you don't need the battery assembly. And so, um, you know, a, a reasonable price for what you are getting here and certainly a very, very flexible source of light. Now, the other light I want to look at is another Generay product. This is called the Beacon. And yes, it looks a little bit like a lightsaber. Uh, that may be intentional. But the flexibility of this is it's obviously designed, number one, as a handheld light you can use for portraits and different kinds of settings. I've also found it to be very useful for um, a, a fill light for doing my hands-on, you know, product explorations, for doing macro photography um, as a, a side kind of fill light for, you know, some of my video segments. I've used it as, as kind of a, a key light to help to fill from the side. And, uh, and so anyway, uh, very, very, very useful. You can strobe it, um, but useful for a lot of applications. Let's jump in. Let's take a look at hands-on at this baby. 
So here's another light that I'm really fond of, and that is the Generay Beacon. And so what this is, is obviously a one style type light, and it has 312 daylight LEDs in it. You have the ability to either ramp up or ramp down the amount of power on it. And if you decide that you would want to switch over to a uh, more of a tungsten look, there's actually a diffuser here. It's kind of a, a plastic diffuser that you can slide over the top and so that you can change the color temperature to suit your purposes. And so while the light itself only has one color temperature, it does come, you know, with the ability to swap that out uh, with that. So obviously the usefulness of this is that it's a really easy light to use um, as a fill type light to, you know, shoot with one hand, which I've done on some of these portraits here, shot with one hand while positioning this light optimally to provide fill. Uh, for that. So that's obviously one very interesting application. It does come uh, right now with a barn door assembly and so uh, which is very easy obviously here to just kind of clip on and so that gives another very useful application and that is that I have used it even for shooting macro shots with the uh, light just laid on a table and uh, using the barn doors as a way to uh, block out any kind of other background and, and provide a place to do some really unique macro type shots as you can see here. So a few other specs about the light itself is that it does operate off of a, it's not a built-in, it is a replaceable and thus you can use multiple of and actually it comes with a secondary battery pack right now so it come but it is a pr proprietary type um, um, lithium ion battery pack 4400 mah out of that you get an hour and a half of runtime on full you actually charge it right inside the actual light itself and so the you know and so there's kind of a pro and a con to that the fact that you can take the AC adapter and you can charge the battery right there in the light itself. So unfortunately, if you've got an extra battery pack, you still have to charge it within there. And so I find that to be a little bit inconvenient. The upside to this configuration is that you can actually plug in the AC adapter and you can in fact use it as the main power source. And so you don't have to necessarily run, worry about running dead. Um, uh, or running out of power on it. As you can see, that port does cover up and that reflects the fact that this is designed to be used outdoor, even in some poor weather, if you're shooting a portrait session, for example. And so you have the, um, it is an IP65 water resistant rating. And so um, that's, you know, rain and splashing that you can, uh, it can do that. So as noted, you can dim it, you can diffuse it, you can even re re control it remotely. If you happen to have, it has a four channel receiver built into it. And so it is compatible with Generase 2.4 gigahertz WBWRT remote. And so, you know, if you have these in a configuration and you wanna run multiple ones, uh, you have the option of doing that. Now, you'll note that I've actually added on something out of one of my gimbals that I, I, I think it works so well with it, it really should be um, uh, an included accessory, and that is just to add some tripod-type feet to the bottom of this. I've actually used it many times with it standing upright as a fill light, um, like for shooting some of my videos in my office, or um, when shooting some of my hand-on episodes where I'm looking at a piece of gear. But of course, the this is just a, I believe, a quarter inch thread or whatever that is. I believe it's quarter inch. And so that allows you, you can just thread it on top of any kind of light uh, stand or whatever if you want to use it that way as well. But primarily here, as you can see, I've just threaded on this tripod here. And so it gives me that flexibility in a compact way of being able to put feet on it and to have it as an upright light source. Very, very useful. And so of course, right now as noted, it comes with the extra battery and the barn door, $299, which undercuts the most similar light on the market, which, which is the Westcott Ice Light by a hundred bucks. And so I think it offers a pretty solid value. It's a lot of fun to work with, a very versatile light. So like the contender, the uh, Beacon does uh, come also with a, is a nylon case, padded case here. And uh, in this case, all of those accessories fit into it. It works like that. I've, I've grabbed a little tripod foot uh, assembly off of one of my gimbals actually. And, uh, and I've set it up because to me, it just adds the versatility of being able to put it on like a, a tabletop type surface and its own natural height makes it really, really useful for a lot of different applications. And so I will try to look up 
where you can separately buy this little tripod feet um, because it is useful to have. And um, if I can find, if I'm successful, I'll throw uh, that into the description down below so you can take a look at that. And so um, as noted, the the beacon comes in at $299 right now, including those accessories, extra battery, and then also the barn door assembly for that. So a strong value when you consider that the Westcott um, Ice Light is $399, so $100 more without those accessories. So I think it's a, a really nice value, and the fact that you can also take it out in some poor weather is a nice addition as well. Take a look in the description down below for linkage to these products if you'd like to purchase them for yourself. And of course, you can also find linkage there to follow me on social media to become a patron and if you haven't already please click that subscribe button right here on youtube thanks for watching have a great day